Hello everyone, this is AD with Cosmastrology and I'm going to be doing your Cosmo Quickie. So this week's topic is going to be what do you need to hear right now? It's super open-ended guys. Um, this is going to be even a quicker quickie than normal <laughs> because I am preparing for family and my mom's coming into town guys so I might be slowing down a little bit on the channel but I'm going to be trying to produce as much content as I can but bear with me be patient with me through this uh through this next little time um as my sister so greatly suggested that I should announce if you're familiar with astrology my son is transiting my 12th house which currently means that like my son is going into an extremely dark house right now so just be mindful of um, um, that, you know, um, I, you know, you know, just be mindful. All right. So let's hop into it, guys. Let's power through this um, because I have to go to the airport. You know, there's just a lot that has to happen today. Um, but I wanted to get you your messages. I love these things. I love y'all so much. Okay. So let's get straight into it. All right. Hello, everyone. This is uh, Pow One. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Hello everyone, this is AD from Cosmastrology. This is if you picked Pow One. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. So this is your Cosmo Quickie and it's what do you need to hear right now. So this is a time reading, so we're gonna get straight into it. So let's see what is going on for our Pow Ones. What do they need to hear? What does Spirit want them to hear right now? So we are starting off with astrology, guys. Please keep in mind and remember that I am subscribed to Vedic Astrology, so my placements might be a little bit different than yours, but the energy should read about the same all right so we're starting off here with the black moon lilith mystery interesting let's keep going 11th house friends aquarius energy saturn truth capricorn aquarius energy again neptune sacrifice and venus love so i really do feel like spirit wants you to know something about friendships um I'm specifically hearing, yes, there has been a delay in meeting other people, but I do feel like you are going to love the new people that you end up meeting with. There's also something here that's like, there. there's, mm, ugh, what interesting cards to come out. <laughs> so uh, I feel like there is some truth that has to be revealed. There's, th yeah, this is, um. This is a lot. <laughs> so that's why I'm just interested in why Spirit wants me to do it quickly. Okay, so there are going to be some truths that are going to be revealed either through your friendships or connections. Some of them could deal with wanting partnerships with Venus, Taurus, Libra energy represented right there. Um, but I do feel like there's going to be some things that are revealed um, with the Black Moon Lilith to the Saturn truth behind Neptune's sacrifice. Somebody hasn't been completely forthcoming. and But I do feel like it's a positive thing, guys. I don't feel like somebody's been plotting on you and trying to like bring you down. I just get this overall energy of somebody's going to come with some unexpected information to do something, perhaps social. If it's not romantic, then there's going to be like a social thing that you get to do um, that's revealed to you. But I also hear that uh, the overarching energy is spirit is saying maybe you're feeling quite lonely right now and you feel like you don't have a whole lot of friends. There are going to be people who get and understand you. There's been a delay, but with delay comes the best reward. So when you are introduced into this next phase and this fog is kind of lifted in the environment that you're in, I do think that you're really going to enjoy the next phase of your life. You do have friendships, um, love offers, all of those things are, are coming into you. I feel like your, your, your social circle is going to shift. You don't see it with all the Neptune energy and the Saturn energy. So you can't understand how loved you are and how popular you're going to be with amongst your social circle. But I feel with this Black Moon Lilith, Spirit is encouraging you to start stepping out of your shell to aid along in this process uh, wherever you are. But I do certainly see some friendships coming in for you. Um, but yeah, let's keep going. So super interesting. Fire. I was just about to say Pisces. I was getting, you know, there's strong Pisces energy. And then we have the Pisces card, Neptune. I just feel like... There's some sort of Saturn again. So the energies are just backing up. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is so interesting. Okay, I can't wait to see your cards. But with, the, with these same energies that are coming out, backing up these cards, which is absolutely insane, I feel like Spirit wants you to know that, you know, 
you setting realistic expectations for your circle for your social circle is really what i'm hearing i think you have to stop seeing people and vice versa people have to stop seeing you in this very piscean energy where like you're hard to grasp you're a mystery to a lot of people but i think it's because you haven't necessarily put yourself out there to be recognized because you're still trying to fill the energy um even with that black moon lilith and then paired off with this fire you could have aries sagittarius or leo in your chart but i'm honestly getting a stronger scorpion energy there's something very like scorpio pisces about this where it's just like you're trying to get to the truth but yet you're looking at the truth through a kaleidoscope <laughs> you know you're like i'm gonna get to this magnifying glass through a kaleidoscope so it's already distorted so there's something very distorted about your vision of connections and other people um so spirit wants you to be aware of that of course we're going to keep chug a lugging along because i i want to see the cards because this is such a interesting message um but yeah, I just feel like you got the girl with kaleidoscope eyes. Like you just have kaleidoscope eyes. And so spirit is asking you to take those off and see the truth for what it is. Be realistic with setting expectations, grounding some of your energy. If this doesn't have to do with friends, with the 11th house, I think it does. But and with Libra here, um, it could just deal with a, a, a specific relationship. I feel like spirit wants you to see something for what it is. There's something that you're you're involved in or there's a contract that you could be signing if it's business. They really want you to make sure that you see it for what it is. That is what I what I get from you. All right, so let's keep pushing the Knight of Cups, <laughs> the King of Cups to the King of Pentacles. Yeah. So, Paul 1, like I like I originally stated, I feel like there's um there could be a romantic offer that's coming towards you specifically but if not it could be a creative project it could be an offer for just a long-term friendship spirit is asking you to see it for what it is be patient this person is very pisces and very watery excuse me very romantic so they could be telling you things i just heard specifically cutting through the bullshit like you're cutting through the bs um they're really romantic, and I think for what it's worth, they're genuine, but they're not being practical. It's not grounded in anything. Um, if this somebody, if this is somebody that you don't know yet, then you will meet them soon enough. You know, this is a this is a timely reading. So whenever you find this, there'll be somebody who's coming to approach you soon enough. And they're really romantic, and I think they sound really good. But understand that I don't know if they'll be able to to follow through with some of the things that they're presenting. Uh, to you and within themselves because they are in this very dreamlike state. So I do feel like spirit is saying you have to be the honest one. You have to be the one for see who sees things for what it is. Um, I think spirit is just really saying, yeah, you got to see things and see people for who they are. I feel like this is a positive energy. I know that I'm saying that. It just depends on where you are in the spectrum. If you're somebody who feels like you don't have anybody in your life right now and you're trying to manifest new people, then spirit is act asking you to be grounded and practical and realistic in your expectations of friendships and others. Um, so then you can start to build because if you keep wanting perfection then it'll be so elusive to you because nobody's perfect including yourself and i think that that's something to you might be like i'm the perfect friend well we all have things to learn okay um if you're already in a connection and this is resonating with you then there's somebody who's in your sphere with a lot of water energy and they are not being completely forthcoming or they're not being completely realistic about their expectations and what they plan next and spirit is asking you to be heavily aware of that as you listen and filter through to what they're saying so it depends on what spectrum you're on it's kind of how i'm reading it oh goodness we got the five of swords <laughs> the two of cups and the knight of wands wow so like i said it's just backing up <laughs> these energies there are certainly information and connection coming in for you but note the knight of wands it's still in and out the five of swords it's still in and out there's there's flightiness to this connection there's and you're grounded you're serious and this person is popping up with with night energy right now the king of cups emotional kind of hiding to themselves but i do see them coming there's going to be some information that's coming towards you let's keep going because i want to clear, clear this out all righty So <laughs> if you weren't, if you didn't want a love reading or a part or like a very specific business reading, marriage reading, um, yeah, that's what, that's kind of what I'm getting. So, whew, um, then you might want to pick another pile is what I was trying to say, because this is super specific. So, all right. I do feel like there's going to be an offer that comes in with the page of pentacles here, but it still is small. This person does have the potential to grow 
at a serious point in time. And I think that you're okay with that. There's a lot of love and mutual understanding here. I think that you'll be like, okay, this person has potential. But at the same time, spirit is asking you to be realistic in this situation. You know that they're not Superman. They might say that they are, they're Superman. They are not. They're only going to be capable of doing a certain amount of things. So spirit is asking you to be honest. This does have mad potential, mad potential to be super fulfilling, but it's going to take time. You have to plant those seeds and let it grow. There could be some misunderstanding and miscommunication this person could have a little bit of a temper uh, when they get frustrated or flustered it might appear as anger or very immature that would be a key indicator most of you i feel like you know this person if you don't <laughs> um then you might just have to pick another pile because this is super specific but spirit wants you to know that this person has a lot of ideas it's just not grounded in anything. So you have to continue to respect yourself and be patient with this person. Um, don't rush this process. But I do feel like some truths are going to be brought to light. And Spirit is asking you to not be super duper reactive to those, um, but to just uh, take it for what it is. If this person, this the masculine energy right here, they're, they're going to be a bit sloppy in their communication until they get it together. This person is just very... Um, sloppy and their communication is what I'm hearing. <laughs> just heard sloppy toppy. That's inappropriate, inappropriate, but you guys get it. <laughs> um, is there anything else? Yeah, this person is going to come towards you with a solid offer. This could be work, but for a lot of you, I feel like it's, um, it could be finances. It could be a gift of finances. For some of you, this could be a father, a patriarchal figure, if you're still here, uh, but so you have to take it as it resonates, but somebody is definitely coming towards you with an offer. Again, don't get too Neptunian about it. Don't look at it with through rose tinted glasses. Be real and be honest, but I do think that is a, it's genuine from this person. This person isn't trying to play you. They're just a little unrealistic with their own expectations. And then on the in the inside, we do have somebody who has a conflict of communicating their emotions, but there is potential for happiness there. So I do feel like if you're already intertwined with this person I'm seeing here, and you're exchanging these cups spirit is asking you to and telling you that you need to know that you need to remain compassionate and patient with this person there is love there there is mutual understanding um they do want to mend the bridge for some of you guys this is a father if it's not a love person if you're like there was nobody there's nobody <laughs> then it is a father figure um they are genuine they're just a little sloppy in how they're going about it but i do feel an energy of wanting to make amends clear the fog clear the air have a conversation start fresh so yeah <laughs> that was a lot to jam pack in a couple minutes so let's move into um your oracle so that's what spirit wants you to know that there is a masculine who wants to make amends um and you'll have to know what end of the spectrum you fit on and take it make sure that your um just make sure that your expectations are realistic oh wow heal the ouch Oh my goodness. Yeah. Somebody wants to come clean. Somebody wants to start over again and make amends and they want to apologize. So I'm really getting that very strongly or they want to take it a step further. They want to clear the air. Somebody just wants to clear the air with you. That'll be happening. That's the biggest theme that I'm getting, regardless of what your situation is. There's going to be a much needed conversation to clear the air. It's going to, it's going to feel rocky with the five of swords here. But I do think that by the time it's all ended up, you're going to be like, okay, there's a fresh start. I, I have realistic expectations for this connection now and where this is headed. Oh, blessed. I love that. So you are going to be feeling extremely blessed. I think you are going to be feeling extremely loved by this person. Um, 22. So bring it together. 38. What is that? Um, 11. So there is an opportunity here. And I do think that this is going to be a blessing in disguise. And even there, we got 1111 if you break that 2-2 two, two, down regardless. But um, this is just an opportunity to open up and have, and have a fair exchange and have a deeper understanding. And I do think that this is a blessing in disguise. This person might physically gift you something or send you some type of money, finances, resources. It won't be a whole bunch with the page there, but it'll be enough to show you their token of appreciation. Balance spirituality and practicality. That, that, it, exactly. That Saturn Neptune energy. Um, it doesn't get much better than that. It doesn't get much clearer than that. So just about setting realistic expectations, um, stating what your expectations are, letting that other person state what their expectations are, and then expecting this person to be held to those standards. So very much a clear, a, a very clear kind of open and cut case when you open up that dialogue. Uh, but use your intuition 
through this process, understand that they're being genuine, but don't get lost in your head and and run off to the races in your imagination. You know, balance that spirituality and practicality. There's still a lot of pinnacle energy here. And perhaps you're more of the, you could be Taurus Capricorn, but I'm getting strong Virgo too, Virgo Pisces energy, okay? Um, yeah, you could have Virgo in the first house, Pisces in the second, vice versa. You might have that access or even in your 11th, 5th house or your 3rd, ninth house. So, yeah, let's keep going. And then we got, wow, Goddess Hecate and Mika, Crossroad of Destiny. Um, so let's look this up, 42. A 42. All right, Crossroads of Destinies. We bring you the empowerment of the Crossroad of Destiny. You're at a pivotal point on your life's journey. This may be obvious to you with a potential life-changing decision before you, or you may not realize the impact that apparently insignificant choice is going to have on your future. Either way, you're at a point where you can leave the past behind and chart your course for a new adventure chap for a new adventurous chapter to begin in your life. This is not something you need to be frightened of. It is a sign you are progressing on your path. The Crossroad of Destiny happens when you have mastered a cycle in your life in a new cycle is before you. It is an opportunity that you can best take advantage of by listening to your heart. Listen to your heart. So you can hit pause and read that italicized part. But yeah, th this is going to be an, an absolute opportunity from the masculine, from a masculine. Your father, <laughs> for some of you, your your boyfriend, your husband, your your lover, for others of you. Um, and you're going to be forced to make a decision on what is the best practical solution for you to move forward, um, keeping your feelings in check. But I think in all the grander good for your own progress. So that is what Spirit wants you to know right now um, in this Cosmo Quickie, whenever this reading finds you guys. So I am going to end it there. I just want to say thank you so much for your continued support. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let me know if this resonates in the comment section below. I'd love to hear it. Um, And just, I appreciate you. Please follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Instagram. And I want to say a special, special thank you to anybody who has donated to the channel. Um, I so appreciate that. If you would like to donate and contribute to the channel here is my cash app you're under no obligation to but i really really appreciate it guys it really warms my heart um so this is for cash app if paypal is more up your speed then that link is on the description box in the description box below also and if you'd like to book a personal reading with me you can shoot me an email and i will send you the spiel and that's what i got for you so thank you so much for joining me pot one i do think that this is going to it's so funny because when i started your your reading i felt like overwhelmed a little bit but now I feel a lot I feel a lot more at ease so I think that that's going to to help you it's going to be <laughs> overwhelming at first but then once you ground it you'll see that it was actually for your benefit okay so that's what I got for you thank you so much for joining me I so appreciate you having you here and yeah let's get let's keep it pushing all righty Hello everyone, it is AD with Cosmastrology and I'm going to be doing your Cosmo Quickie. So this is if you picked pile number two and this is what does spirit, what do your angels, what do your guides, what does the universe want you to know right now? It's really open-ended. I'm just going to be receiving what ener whatever energy comes through. Um, as you know, guys, this is a timed reading, so we're going to be blazing through this. Um, that is why it's called a Cosmo Quickie, if you did not know that. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go through... Um, we're going to go through. So let me hit the timer um, so we can go ahead and get started. Okay. And boom. Let's start. We're starting off with astrology cards. Please remember that I do subscribe to Vedic Astrology, so my placements could be a little bit different, but the energy should read about the same. And again, highly recommend you know both charts. So we got Virgo. I analyzed here. Ooh, Grand Cross Provoker. Okay. Part of Fortune Increase. First house, the body. Um, so Aries represented here. That's I, I really do see Aries. I'm seeing the number five. So maybe five is significant to you. Water senses, and you got who? Oh my goodness. Oh wow, you got a shiz ton of cards. Um, I didn't even realize that. Normally I try to pick five. Pile number two. Big energy. All right. I was about I really got that you were on the precipice of making 
a life changing, life altering decision. Um, your life, your life is about to change. I do feel like it's a very positive change, but it feels very uncomfortable. And this is something that you've been sensing for a long time. Your second house owning Taurus energy, your finances, your resources are about to improve. And this was meant to happen. Um, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy represented here also. So I do feel like you're trying to do one of two things. Either you're trying to take something and art, a science with this Virgo energy here, something that you feel through your bones to do to make it profitable, and you are going to be receiving um, an increase. This could also be with helping health. Health is major health. Um, I, I am hearing beauty, but more so health, where you could be in, in the process of choosing to do something health-wise, well, health Pau 2, that is going to be a very big difference. Oh, second house energy, Venus. So yeah, health and beauty. <laughs> Sorry. I just feel like you're planning on starting your business, uh, starting a business or um, having a side hustle or something that again has to do with health or beauty. Um, and this is going to change your life. So spirit is saying that you're right on the precipice. So when this opportunity presents itself, I really do think that you should take, take it and start investing it in yourself. Um, start investing in that business because the money is going to pay off. Again, it's going to take time with the Taurus energy rep represented here. But I do get that spirit wants you to know that you are on your current path. Um, if you're thinking about pursuing something specifically in health, beauty, or the arts here, then that is what you're meant to be doing. Perhaps it's not traditional to what your family expected you to do, but that's what your heart is calling calling for. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be something psychic or intuitive. Um, just something very high priestess, very um feminine. And either high priestess or empress energy is something that you're trying to pursue. I think that you got. I hope that I painted a broad enough picture <laughs> for you to sneak yourself in there but you know um if any of that resonated with you then spirit is confirming that you're on the right track you are on the part you are on path to be fulfilling your destiny do not be afraid i just heard eminem i'm not afraid to take a stance everybody come take my hand we'll walk this road together through the storm okay <laughs> I haven't heard that song in a long time. I can't remember that. I remember that much of the lyrics. That's crazy. But yeah, I was like, you're you're coming out on the other side of it. And perhaps it has been stormy. Perhaps it is still stormy with the Grand Cross Provoker here. And you're questioning, is this even the right thing that I should be doing? Because there's been so many obstacles. No, you're you're do you're exactly where you're supposed to be. It is going to even up. And I think deep down you sense that this is that this is correct, but everything is screeching that it's not. But your finances are certainly going to improve. Trust me. All right. So we got cancer. So you could have some strong cancer energy here. Jupiter abundance, beautiful. For some of you guys, I could get that this might be weight, where you might have gained weight or you might be nervous about gaining weight. It could be quarantine weight. And so you're like, oh man, I'm ready to go work out. Some of you might have gained weight. You might want to take a pregnancy test <laughs> if you're, you know, you're late because I, I cancer energy, we got the moon here. Um, or perhaps you've been worried about getting your body back after giving birth. This is super specific. That's why I'm like, for some of you guys, it's health and beauty. That might be something that like you end up being a pioneer for is being like a mother and a business person and looking at your brother and being like, yes, my body changed. I've accepted my body. You should too. And helping mothers specifically coast through that. That won't be for everybody, but that's a confirmation if you've been wanting to incorporate mothers and, and health into your business, um, it'll help. Sagittarius. So there's something here about bigger. And then we got the bigger, the better. Um, so taking, if that mother stuff didn't resonate with you, which is totally fine. Um, I am hearing like the bigger, the better with this Jupiter, Sagittarius, Pisces energy, super strong. So we have a lot of water, fire represented, and there's so many blessings that are coming into you. And I think that you've been following your intuition to achieve those blessings. You, you know that there's something else, you know, that there's something bigger and brander and, and, and bigger and bolder. <laughs> And you're focusing on honing in on that brand. And so I do think things are going to start growing exponentially, guys, um, with the Sagittarius energy. It's been a long time coming and it's been a tough fight. But Spirit wants you to know that you are about to have exponential growth. You're about to be recognized on a larger scale any time now. Um, it seems like you're kind of at the bottom in, this, in, this, in the ocean and your feels. Um, but I do think that spirit is encouraging you to keep going. You are going to be blessed abundantly. You got two nines here. 
Oops, excuse me. 69 if you want to take that. <laughs> and then six. Oops. I'm trying to broke. Mm, it's not coming through. But let's go ahead and move into your um your tarot cards. But yeah, following your intuition is going to lead you in the best path, even if it does not make sense. You need to, your faith level needs to be on a thousand, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, your faith level needs to be on a thousand because you really have deep intuitive gifts. You know, for some of you also, you're unlocking. <laughs> It's so funny because pile one was jam-packed like this with with very few like cards, but a lot of information. On another note, your spiritual gifts are also expanding. Like I said, I get a high priestess energy from you. So you're going to be unlocking some of your more spiritual gifts. Trust them because they're guiding you in a way for you to increase your finances. It's all working together, okay? So that's what I'm hearing. So we got the five of cups up, up top, the four of wands, and the five of swords. Okay, so two fives. Um, so there's been a lot of chaos and conflict in your home front. I really feel like with this cancer energy, you feel like maybe you've been misunderstood and misrepresented by your, the people who are closest to you. And there's been a lot of struggles and fights. Um, that's why spirit is saying, listen, keep dreaming bigger. You're going to get that blessing. You're going to be able to move out of that situation. Um, your finances are about to increase. So do not give up hope. Um, yes, it's a shitty situation is what I'm hearing with the five of cups of the five of wands. There's a lot of competition. There's a lot of back and forth. You're uncomfortable in the current environment that you're in but with the four wands here being represented by this wheel and completion you're actually on the way out of this cycle it's just about being keeping your emotions on one side and then keeping your blessings on another so yes it, it's kind of like putting a lid spirit wants you to put your lid on your sadness right now because you're not meant to be sad you're not meant to be unhappy you're just meant to work through this energy so i really do hope that this is a, a encouragement that's just like if you stop being sad and start doing the work, then you'll be able to get out of the situation that's making you sad in the first place. So it's twofold. Um, and I know I'm breaking it down. That's really simple to put it. But, you know, here here we are. It's a time reading, so I can't be so poetic. I got to be a little bit straightforward. So you have the Eight of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, yeah, and the Judgment card. Right. So I feel like there is, and, and I do want to speak about Cancerian energy. And again, it could be your Vedic chart or your Western chart. Um love cancers really great nurturing mother energy like i said it could be children maybe children play a role into why you're juggling this but cancers in nature the crab has a habit of moving from side to side never front never backwards so i feel like there's this energy where you're just kind of moving side to side you're like i don't know what i should do well if i do this then it'll be a problem here and if that problem starts here then it'll end up being an issue here and then if that happens there then then i won't be able to do this and so it's just like this and there's really no forward progress being made and so i feel like with the judgment card spirit is saying get out of your head get out of your insecurities specifically um and make a decision and start moving towards that because once you declare what it is you're going to be receiving the the blessings um but i'm just hearing that you you desperately need to keep your emotions in check right now uh because they could be uh, preventing you from moving forward at this point um uh, so stop swimming in it is what i'm hearing that's what your guides want you to know you're you're destined to be wealthy you're destined to be comfortable um, but if you're allowing emotions to plague you, then you're you're missing the the point. You're missing your your growth. I'm sorry to be so harsh, but I only got a few minutes. <laughs> um, uh, King of Swords, yeah. Three of Swords. Oh gosh, and the Death and Rebirth card. So for some of you guys, this could deal with um, a masculine energy, a Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, doesn't have to be. It could just deal with like rejection in general but for some of you specifically you're caught up on some masculine I, or I don't want to say that you're caught up on a masculine you're caught up on a feminine and it's preventing you from seeing how much growth that you've actually made into rise um so you're you're stopping you're, you're in the middle do not stop what you've been doing on your business level because your emotional needs aren't being fulfilled right now that will change is what i'm hearing from spirit that will absolutely change but you have to do your part spirit is asking you to let go of this conflict see it for what it is and take this opportunity for growth so you can rise like a phoenix and overcome some of the heartaches that you've been in because you're staying stuck in a situation um, due to insecurities and fears and that's not fair to you spirit is asking you to highlight and look at what is triggering these insecurities um 
and understand that if it's a if it's a soulmate energy you know this person to be your soulmate it goes back to trusting what we said having faith then there's no need to then time doesn't matter right so if there's a, a patience issue then let it go it could be like listen there's something better out there for you um so let it go you have to take it for what it means it's a general reading but on the outside here there's been a conflict with a specific masculine i would say um or again you're so within a social circle social group it could be family for some of you but let that go let it regenerate you let it give you energy and power for you to transform through the situation you know this is the death scorpionic card so just in this cycle i do think that you need to let whatever it is that's holding you back end and then build up from it rise again you know it's time for you to rise spirit doesn't want you to stay in this this situation you're not meant to and it's in your destiny to keep moving forward so that's what i'm getting from your tarot let's look oh wow <laughs> flexible um so this is about being nimble this card has made an appearance in like every day so <laughs> um it's so interesting so i just feel like this is saying that some changes are coming especially with these two fives some mad changes are coming towards you um and so spirit is asking you to be flexible do not anchor yourself into your sadness you know try a different perspective i'm kind of getting hey man energy from this you need to look at life through a different perspective message in a bottle so you're going to be receiving some sort of communication for something oh the answers you need are coming yeah um it, this this is interesting so uh, I, i'm hearing when somebody shows you who they are the first time believe them i'm hearing that um, and I'm also hearing for your business that you're going to be receiving some word about your business. There's a lot of changes that are coming towards you, pal, too, whenever this reading finds you. Um, and things are going to be cleared up. And once they're cleared up, I think that's going to help you get out of your emotions and kind of see what you're working towards. But Spirit just wants you to know this message is to say, hey, listen, on a business front, you're working towards something. The more passionate that you become about that and the more that you expand, um, the easier that is going to be to kind of fill this void that you're receiving on an emotional front uh, because there's going to be clarity. But if you see somebody for who they are, I don't normally always associate Gemini with two-facedness. I am a Gemini rising, so I would never say that, you know. But if this person is showing you a different side of themselves that, and you keep seeing it, accept that for who they are too. Don't try to change it endings 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 are here to free yourself up you know um and it could just be that you know you need to leave the situation that you're in magical map shifter that's so funny so there is some gemini energy here um and some just absolute mutable energy and changes that are coming um yeah i do feel like spirit five to two gets you to a seven so there's a karmic pattern here but i'm also seeing the seven of swords as far as just being you don't have to give everybody your entire hand. So <laughs> this is like a game of poker, guys. I'm really um, seeing like a game of poker between you and other individuals. But it, it's all it's mostly about just keeping your emotions in check as you communicate. Like, understand that you have bigger plans that are brewing. Um, if you know that this person isn't going to be able to help you or support you, um, then don't bring them in. Don't bring them in. Keep it to yourself. You're going to be receiving information. Do what you will with that information and then start moving in silence. I hope that this is making sense, guys. Um, and then we got, you got two. Angel, Amateel, and Blue Obsidian Revelation. So yeah, you're going to be, something is going to be revealed to you with this judgment card and it's going to force you to want to change. And I think that's what it is. It could have the potential to be like, oh my gosh, I'm so sad. I can't believe that that person was speaking behind my back. I can't believe that person really wasn't supporting me. I can't believe that. Instead of dwelling in it, pal two, I challenge you to take that and be like, huh, okay, well, not necessarily let me prove to you, but at the same time, let me prove to you. I just feel like there needs, there's a scorpionic energy here. So it's like that get back, James Brown. <laughs> Gotta get that get back. And it's not in a negative way. It's just like, you can let that negative comment define you, right? Like Tyra Banks, she has a big ass forehead. Everybody knows it. She could be like, if somebody told her when she was young, you have a big ass forehead, you could never model. 
She could have been like, you're right. I have a big ass forehead. I'm never going to model. And she could have gone on about her way and nobody would have ever noticed her. But she took that insult and she got some bangs, tweaked it a little bit, I guess. <laughs> and sometimes she just has her forehead out and she's one of the top supermodels. So I do think that whatever this information that's coming into you, believe who this person is the first time. Don't try to correct them. Um, but don't take it personally. Don't let it drown you out for what you want to do or how you want to move and then wow we have goddess peel and lava stone melt into divine desire so i really do feel like again that scorpio mars energy mars aries so fire let this fire you up let whatever information comes in this heartbreak you know it could be revenge body <laughs> it's kind of what i'm hearing too especially with those cards if you gain weight in some way and that's not a bad good or bad thing i'm just saying um, but I do feel like there's just kind of like this revenge body energy that's coming through for whatever it is revenge business where you're like, you really counted me out. I see what you, I see how you think of you. I thought that we were right or die. I thought that we were in this together, but you know what? No, but thank you for giving the, me the motivation to go execute what I got to do. So don't get emotional is what I'm hearing. Spirit just wants you like, don't let your emotions rule you overcome them, overpower them and get busy. So that is what I got for you, pile number two. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, please don't forget to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Drop a comment. Let me know if this resonated. And I do want to say a special, special thank you to each and every one of you who was able um, to donate to the channel. And if you would like to donate to the channel, I would so appreciate it. Here's my cash app, guys. You are under no obligation. You can send me positive vibes, but it means so much to me when you do. Because um, YouTube is funky. So, so that there's that. Um, Here's Cash App if PayPal is more up your speed. That information is in the description box below. And then if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find that information in the description box below. But thank you so much, pile number two. I hope that this reading found you well. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time. So let's get into pile number three. And we're going to close out. All righty. Hello everyone. A <laughs> Hello everyone. It's AD with Cosmo Astrology and I'm going to be doing your pick a card reading. This is if you picked pile number three and the amethyst stone here. Thank you so much for joining me. So as you know, this is a timed reading. So we're going to blaze through it. And this is what the spirit wants you to know right now. This is a open ended Thing, so I'm not sure what's going to come through. So just brace yourself. Um, tune tune in to your best, highest frequency <laughs> um, to see what spirit needs you to know right now. So this is if you pick pile three. I'm going to go ahead and start the timer. Guys, please remember that I do subscribe to Vedic Astrology. So my placements might be a little bit different than yours, but your energy should read about the same. And I would hope that you would have access to both charts just so you know. Um, but let's go. So we're starting off with Sagittarius. I see. And I just heard I'm seeing the bigger picture. So maybe some things are revealed to you or some truth comes out let's keep going mars um scorpio aries energy solar re eclipse revolution aquarius leo energy Woo, uranus aquarius oof aquarius and ninth house oh my gosh this is hilarious oh my gosh this is so funny um Whew. So your your beliefs are going to be like revolutionized or revolutionary. I feel like you're you're going to be thinking outside of the box. Um, and this could be some teaching or learning. So you could have Aquarius in the ninth house, which would give you a Gemini rising. <laughs> Um, but there's going to be some real radical shifts and changes. Spirit wants you to know that to keep the faith because there are going to be some some major changes that are coming towards you is what I'm hearing, pal three. Um, I do think that you should be vocal and express your truth. There is something revolutionary about your beliefs. It's different and it is going to be a driving force for some other magnificent changes. So I'm not sure what you do or what your interests are, pal three, but this could definitely be like that revolutionary type work with that humanitarian um, of course, I, you know, I am a, I'm a black person. <laughs> I'm proud to be a black person. So my examples for this are going to be black, <laughs> but let them apply to whatever it is that you are, um, to wherever culture you're coming from. But I'm getting an image of like, you know, the Black Panthers, like the revolutionaries like that, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King. Some of you have that type of potential to be that revolutionary on that scale to fight for some civil rights or civil justice. And again, don't let it limit to the black people because there's a lot going on right now <laughs> um so there this is the perfect time for these type of leaders to rise i just heard for some of you guys this could be very um like a native american or an original descent people um 
or indigenous, however you identify. I have my own opinions on that word, <laughs> but uh, we're not going to get into it. So anyways, um, I, I do feel like yeah, you're going to bring something to the forefront. You're meant to bring something for the forefront. You're meant to be different. Um, that is what spirit really wants you to know. You are meant to be different. You're meant to break out of barriers. You are meant to, to march to the beat of your own drum. Um, and that's okay. So I see magnificent changes coming towards you. So let's look. Virgo. We got Sun, Leo energy, Gemini. I mentioned it. So you definitely have Gemini energy. So it could be G Gemini moon or Gemini rising. Mercury being presented here with these two cards. Um, so I do feel like you should be expressing your thoughts, articulating your thoughts if you're not doing so already. For some of you guys, this could be writing. For others of you, it could be um, actual physical communication. So yeah, if you're a writer, you need to get to writing. Pick up the pen is what I'm hearing. Aries. So this fire energy again. And Scorpio. Wow. Wow, this happened in pile one, two. All the pretty much the same cards ended up bouncing off. So I can't help but notice that like this Gemini Sagittarius energy. So there might have been something that you've been a student for that you've learned and you perfected. And it's now time for you to start teaching it. So for some of you guys, I am hearing very specifically, it's time for you to be building a curriculum because whatever it is that it's time for you to, whatever it is that you're teaching, it's going to be revolutionary and bring a whole lot of change to a whole lot of people. And this is your passion. This is your force. You're meant to be doing something that is different. You're meant to be doing something that is a little off, that is, 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 you know, off beat, off the beaten path. And then you're meant to voice that and bring it to the forefront and have people kind of come and hear what you're saying. So if you are uncomfortable sharing your thoughts, sharing your knowledge, because it's different, that this, that defeats the whole purpose of you getting this knowledge is what I'm hearing from spirit. You know, they want you to be a revolutionary. They want you to change the tide. So you have a huge calling um, within yourself. And it doesn't necessarily have to be if you're like, oh, I'm not on social media or oh, it's not on that level. Then it has to do with your work structure and your work environment. You are meant to shatter um, the standards that have been set within those working environments and do your own thing and revolutionize whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing. It could be if you're an inventor, for some of you, this could be the more uh, masculine energy of you're able to like be an architect or you're an inventor of some sort. Um, spirit is definitely highlighting that you are meant to be doing that. Um, and it'll be revolutionary work. <laughs> you know, I, this is a, again, another terrible exa example, but it'll like Eli Whitney and the cotton gin. <laughs> It's a terrible, terrible example, but it was revolutionary. Or um, who who did the telephone? The person who did the telephone was that Thomas Edison? No, uh, Alexander Graham Bell. Um, at least from the history that we're taught. Again, I have other opinions on that, but we're gonna keep it PG. <laughs> But yeah, Alexander Graham Bell to the telephone. So it's going to be something that's super revolutionary, whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, Steve Jobs, Apple. And again, he stole the idea from somebody else, made it pretty and expanded it. But it, you know, you get what I'm saying. Um, let's look into your tarot. So we have the world here. Wow. Right, so for some of you guys, this is on the world scale. The Ten of Swords, the Four of Pentacles. So... Yeah, maybe you've unlocked some hidden knowledge that's been hidden, hidden knowledge that's been hidden from the world, but you've unlocked some knowledge that needs to, that's been dead and you're resurrecting it. I just specifically heard the resurrection and it could be because... <laughs> Um, I, I, I was called to use my Jesus deck. Like that literally is Jesus. This is, um, like a Catholic kind of, uh, a Christian biblical tarot deck. And so I'm hearing the resurrection. So maybe this is, you're radically changing, you know, beliefs within the Christian sphere, or you're challenging your beliefs within a very traditional long lasting sphere. And you're like, Hey, I believe in this, but I am I'm moving it in this direction. I feel like you are bringing something from the dead, you're rising something up from the dead. <laughs> so it could be some ancient practices that people have forgotten about. And you're just like, and everybody's like, what are you talking about? It needs to come back to the world scale. I feel like that's what spirit is gifting you. And it'll bring huge changes to your life. But I really do think that it's bigger than you, especially with the 9th house and 11th house energy. You have to do it with Mars, but it's bigger than you. The changes that this is going to bring about. This is really leaving a legacy is kind of what I'm hearing. The five of wands. The five of pentacles, oh man, all these fives have come out. The eight of cups. Okay, so yeah, there's definitely been conflict. There's definitely been 
people misunderstanding, you know, this is Judas betraying Jesus when he kisses on the, on the cheek. So perhaps you felt like that. You felt outcast, um, that Aquarius energy. People haven't understood what you wanted to do, but I feel like spirit is saying, listen, if you're in an environment or in a situation where you feel misunderstood, then you will have the opportunity to walk away because this is a gift that you have. Whatever it is that you've been learning to perfect, yes, it's different. Yes, it's not mainstream, but you're meant to bring it into the forefront. So there's something else that's coming towards you. But I do feel like Spirit is telling you in the meantime, there's going to be a need for you to abandon kind of what you've been building thus far. Um, so that could, it doesn't mean like abandon your business, but it could be you have to move your, your home or there's, you lose out on some friendships. Like there's some things that are going to be quote unquote lost in this trans in translation and this transition so just be mindful for that but i do feel like these are just major changes if that doesn't resonate these are major changes that are coming out and you're going to be able to walk away from this with more knowledge than you could have ever um expected so let's see oh wow we have the ace of wands The Ace of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. So we got two eights and two fives. Who is so destined for change? Change is meant to happen. This is faded. You are about to be presented with an opportunity for a different, to, to step out on a different course. Um, and I do think that spirit wants you to be very vocal in these changes that are happening. So there's been conflicts that have happened um, in the past, but you're putting it into them. You're walking away and you're stepping into your own power with your knowledge. A strong Aquarius energy, strong Aquarius energy, guys. So even if you don't have Aquarius in your chart, then maybe you have houses in the you have um, planets in your 11th house. Or you just have rulership, a lot of rulership in your 11th house. So I just, you're on to something. You're on to something revolutionary. And the more that you stand in that divine masculine energy, regardless of your gender, the more that you stand on the faith and the courage that you absolutely know. I'm getting strong Aries Aquarius energy. So you have these revolutionary thoughts with the boldness and the tenacity of an Aries who's just not going to take no for an answer. Spirit wants you to embrace that. It's not anything for you to frown upon. On the other note, on the outside forces, um, you are really doing some major work. You're bringing major ideas to the forefront. And I think that you should be proud of that, even though it seems like it, it's not being heard, it's not going anywhere. Whatever it is that you're spreading, it is going to take flight, it is going to take off, and people are going to be joining your cause soon enough. Right now, there's a disconnect. There's a disconnect between you standing in your power and you owning your reality because people don't get it and how much work you're putting in and, and how how faithful you are to sticking to this reality. You know, people don't see that. So the five of pinnacles is like, man, <laughs> I'm hearing specifically, you're just kind of like, if I would do what everybody else is doing, then I would be making more money. I do feel like this is a... Um, you know, and I, I'll share my own experience. Like, as you can see, if you've been new to the channel and all this other stuff, uh, I'm different. I subscribe to a different astrology from everyone. And I try not to just stick with love readings. Well, my numbers don't move as much as they would if I was just like, who's your next love every time, you know? <laughs> And that's okay. That's a choice that I've made. But has it hurt my growth and development? Am I still putting in so much work behind the scenes? Absolutely. I know a totally different astrology from other people and people don't know what I'm talking about. That's very frustrating. Um, and people aren't gung ho on the idea of, you know, not always doing love. Like, you know, people are really concerned and drawn to tarot because of romantic partners. That's how I started. That's how most people start. But there's so much more that it has to offer. And I have stuck to that. Hence why I'm doing this Cosmo Quickie. Hence why, you know, I try to mix it up and do different readings all the time but am I making as much money am I having an as big of an audience as I could have if I tuned into those other energies absolutely not <laughs> absolutely not I know and it's very frustrating and it feels very um tiring you know because I'm like what am I putting this work into but I refuse to come off of my well we say that now just wait well wait let let your bitch sell out let your bitch sell out I'm kidding but it's just like I feel like it I'm waiting for it to catch up for other people to catch up to kind of what I'm what I'm preaching about because eventually those relationships you're going to get frustrated because they're not coming through and it will always tie back to self-worth worth so I've tried to build my my channel off of when you get to that point in your journey and you start looking to your self-worth and you're starting to plan and kind of live for yourself I want to be the channel that you can turn to 
so it's lonely right now. It's very lonely right now, but I do think that I am keeping up with it. I haven't changed my tune yet and I don't plan on doing it. I am an Aquarius sun, Aries moon. So I, it, it's just kind of how I'm set up. So I imagine that a lot of you might be in that situation where you're doing something that's hecka different from everyone else and you feel misunderstood. Spirit wants you to keep going. Your work is not being forgotten. Your work is being noted and it's being, and it will be seen on a world scale. You, It's just not ready quite yet. And you're, and you're not ready quite yet. You're still in the midst of building and kind of getting everything together. But once it happens and the universe and the stars kind of align, the, your huge changes are coming towards you and you're going to want to be the person who stuck to themselves the whole time. Because that's the journey. You're like, no, everybody else was doing this. I'm doing this. That's how I ended up being this person, you know? So that's really what I'm getting. So let's get into your Oracle cards. Uh, be bold. Make the first move. More Aries energy, cardinal energy coming through. So this is about being bold, standing out. You don't have to adjust. You're meant to stand out. Whatever you're doing, this is what you, this is, this is you, baby. This is your own unique. Unique is the word for you. It's unique. You're meant to be unique. You're not meant to bend. Even though it might be hurting you financially right now, you will be rewarded gratefully because look at this. We got milk and honey here. 51-6, balance, harmony. You will be the money will come back. Your work will pay off. Um, Spirit really wants you to know that right now. The work that you're doing will pay off. Your audience and stuff will grow. Um, people will start to understand and not only understand, but appreciate what it is that you absolutely bring to the table, um, which is super beautiful. Yeah, chaos and conflict, another five, 33, six. So we got two sixes here. Um, but I also see this as a five card. So with these double fives that we've had, there are changes in the mist. It doesn't, it feels very unsteady. It feels like you're very much out on your own, um, but you're not. You're going to be having the opportunity to walk away from that situation. This is like a faded shift. And if you are a Gemini rising in Vedic astrology, which I am, and you are an Ardra rising, it, there's, um, there is like this thing where it's just like, um, what am I trying to say? Um, when changes happen in your life, because your first house is your life path. So when changes happen in your, in your life with that Gemini rising, it always comes in the midst of a storm because there's so much duality. So it's that lover's card. There's always a choice. So it's always like, particularly if you have that Ardra rising, um, because of that, <laughs> It feels very chaotic. It's very much the tornado that, that Dorothy is in and then ends up landing in the other kingdom. So you're in the middle of that tornado, but you're going to learn, you know, that it was all worth it with this milk and honey. You will be getting the money back that you've invested in the time. Spirit sees you working. It might not be reflecting yet, but spirit is really encouraging you to keep going. Oh, rescue. Oh my gosh. So seven. I, that Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be rescued from the chaos and conflict that you're doing. I know it just feels like you're screaming into a freaking auditorium and there is no one there. Uh, but I do feel like there's going to be divine intervention that is going to some changes that are going to come in. You're going to be swept up and moved and relocated. So for some of you guys, there's about to be a spirit is telling you to prepare yourself because there's about to be a whirlwind of changes that come in and it's going to force you to leave um, kind of unexpectedly. But you will be able to flourish doing the work that you do um and it'll be awesome so this is coming up pretty soon so then we got oh <laughs> ascended master jesus and rosafia meaningful sacrifice that is so funny so i really do feel like um and then we got five there too so there's a strong christian energy here there's a strong tie to christianity um or just Jesus is teaching. You don't have to be Christian to, to appreciate what Jesus brought to the table. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so I really do feel like, yeah. And, and I always say, and your, your readings were a tad longer, but I always say, you know, there was a point in time when Jesus, right before the, the, right after the last supper, after he gave everybody their food and he knew he was about to be on that, um, that cross. He asked his friends and family to pray for him. And they all fell asleep. When he went to go pray, they all fell asleep when he got back. And he was so hurt because he was like, dang, I really just gave y'all just partied up. I'm not going to be here. And y'all literally fell asleep. You know, um, 
I think that it's in that situation, you're in that situation right now where everybody is so full and so focused on what they got going. You know, they're not really seeing how much energy and effort that you've been putting into your craft and they're not seeing how much it hurts that they're not able to appreciate and celebrate with you after you provided all that you can. You know, spirit sees you as, as the story of Jesus Christ goes, you know, he's God's quote unquote favorite son. He loves Jesus the most, all right? And at that time, all Jesus was had. All Jesus had was to turn to him in that moment um, when nobody was around, when everybody was sleeping, and when he was so terrified for the changes that were coming in, nobody could support him because no one would understand. Yes, all of his friends went to live on and they ended up doing you know, some massive work with his apostles, but at the same time, it's Jesus Christ. They're Christian. You know, we follow him or Yeshua as his as his actual name. You know, Yeshua was the one who is standing out, who we still talk about to this day. He is the star. He brought that healing that she about she shot a Bishak <laughs> Nasakra. Uh he brought that overall healing with his meaningful sacrifice. So you are sacrificing yourself right now. You are sacrificing your own happiness and independence right now because you're in a sea of people who just cannot understand because their journey is not the same. And that's okay. You can't judge them or fault them for that. But Spirit is sending in a rescue quickly. You are not going to be on that cross for much longer. So just be prepared. There are massive changes that are coming in for you. You're going to be breaking out of the cycle and doing something very, very different. And this is for you. It's a new opportunity. Absolutely take it. It's fate, it's faded. It's destined with that double eight, and it will bring a lot of changes. So that is what I got for you for your Cosmo Quickie. Paw number three. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for your support. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Drop down in the description box. Um, and in the comment section, if this resonated below, um, follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And I just want to say a special shout out to thank you to so much to anyone who has donated to the channel. I super duper appreciate you. If you would like to donate to the channel, here's my cash app, a dollar of five, a dollar, five dollars, or even prayers means so much, um, means so much to me. You are under, under no obligation, of course, but very much appreciate it. Um, and if PayPal is more up your speed, then that information is in the description box below. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, that information is in the description box below. So that is what I got for you, Paul three, 3. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, good luck on your journey. Hang in there. You're, you're fighting the good fight. And peace until next time.